Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the if else statement in JavaScript, which is also known as conditional statement. The if else statement executes whether the condition is true or false. There are three type of if statement are present in JavaScript. One is if statement, two if else statement, and three if else if statement. So we'll see all of them one by one. So first, let's start with if statement. So how if statement look like and what is the structure of it? So to write if statement, we have a keyword called if, and inside the bracket, we have to write a condition, and after that, a pair of curly braces under which we have to write a lot of statement, which is going to be executed based on the condition. So if this condition gets true, then only these statements going to be executed. We can write as many if as we want. Uh, so like if condition one and statements one so like that uh, we can write as many if as we want so these are the if conditions so now we'll see if else condition how if else condition is look like so for if else condition you always need a if and a else so if condition and statement one else statements two so, so this is a block of if else statement so uh, these statements will going to be executed if this condition written true otherwise these statements will going to be executed so it's pretty simple so your uh, compiler will treat it as like it will come here we'll see okay if this condition is okay then okay print this if it's not then print this so always a, the else will come with a if you can't write else uh, like this okay else will not uh, never come with any condition so this is called if else statement and if we go with if else if how if else if is look like so the structure of if else if is there should be if we say condition and the curly braces is some statement and then there is a else if statement in between if and else so else if so uh, you see this it, it is also same after if there is a else and after else we can write another if with another condition so condition one and then statement sorry so we can uh, stop over here if you want or you can write as many else if you want with different different condition it's up to you and you can uh, leave it as it is or you can leave it by a else statement like else statements so now we'll see uh, all of them by some example so I'm just going to comment this out one by one so this is a if else if block this is a if else block and this is if block now I going to write some real uh, time code like if I have two variable one is variable 1 and variable 2 with uh, some different value 10 and 20 so I'm going to write if variable 1 is equal to equal to variable 2 then print like document dot write uh, variable 1 is equal to variable 2 which is obvious right uh, same way I can also uh, print if uh, variable 1 not equal to variable 2 uh, then print like document dot write uh, variable 1 is not equal to variable 2 which is obvious right so I do save now you see variable 1 and variable 2 both have different value so obviously this statement uh, going to be true right variable 1 is not equal to variable 2 so we always expect this uh, statement to be printed in our browser so what actually our uh, browser will do uh, not browser our compiler JavaScript compiler will do it will come to this statement um, first it will check the variable 1 is equal to variable 2 or not so this statement is written false obviously those are not equal right so it will return false and that's why it will not execute this statement again it will come to this if and it will check this statement is true or false and it will file okay this statement is true so it will print this text so we'll see 
go to our browser refresh it and you see variable 1 is not equal to variable 2 so we know that this statement is execute so this is the ifs case now see how if else will execute how we can do uh, same thing for if else so I'm going to write something in if else like if same thing variable 1 equal to equal to variable 2 then we're going to print I'm just copy this line we're going to uh, print the same line else there is no condition I am not giving any condition in else as uh, else uh, not not require any condition so now in this case what the JavaScript compiler will do it will come here and I'll check variable 1 is equal to variable 2 no it's not so it, this condition will return false right so in this case it will not print this one so it, it will directly go in the else part once this condition will give false re value return it will automatically go to the else part and whatever are, uh, the code are present in the else part it will execute them okay so I just uh, comment comment out this code otherwise this will also be executed and if I do save go back to my browser if I do refresh same thing will happen because we'll get same result right this one now how the if else if else this will execute so let write if variable same one variable equal to equal to variable 2 then print this one there's both are equal then else space if uh, variable 1 um, greater than variable 2 if variable 1 is uh, greater than variable 2 okay and we can write as many else if as we want so another else I can I like another else if uh, variable 1 less than variable 2 and I just print variable 1 is less than variable 2 and else I can write anything so like uh, just copy this the variable 1 is not equal to variable 2 and uh, if I put it here here and save it so now which one so I just go to commit comment out this line okay so save it now oh, which line going to be executed so oh, what compiler will do it will come uh, to this line at the very first so it will check variable 1 equal to variable 2 or not it's obviously false so it will go to this else part and in the in the else part it will see okay there is another if so another condition I have to check so it will check variable 1 is greater than variable 2 so what is the value of variable 1 is 20 and variable 2 is uh, 20 sorry variable 1 is 10 and variable 2 is 20 so obviously this is not true right it is also uh, written false so it will come uh, to this else part and we will say oh, okay there is another if we need to check another uh, condition so it will check variable 1 is less than variable 2 which is obvious which is right right so it will come here and it will print this one and after printing that it will not go to the else part because this condition is true so think like the only this one so it is a if else condition if this is true then print this why should I go to the else part so according to your code it should print this line okay let's check go to the browser and refresh okay variable 1 is less than variable 2 so we got right so there is another thing like we can uh, write a if case instead of a if case how it happened just going to give you a one uh, example like you can write a if with sorry if with condition some condition and inside of that you can write another if with another condition and statements some statement so what happened in this case uh, our compiler will come here if this condition is true get true then only it will comes inside of this if and it will check another condition if this condition is again true then this statement is going to be executed okay so, the, so before executing this statement we have to check two condition we can resolve this by the logical operator we have learned in the uh, last video in the previous video okay how so basically uh, just go with an example like if uh, variable 1 uh, greater than 
variable 2 so so uh, okay just put it less than if less than greater than 2 then inside of it if variable 1 okay variable 2 equal to equal to value is 30 okay then going to print document dot write uh, something successful anything okay so uh, what is the variable one is value is 10 we as you know and variable 2 is 20 so okay write it 20 make it 20 okay now uh, what will happen uh, variable 1 is less than variable 2 which is true right so once this get true will come inside of this and we'll check variable 2 is 20 okay this also true then write successful okay else we can write else over here also inside of a single if as uh, document dot write fail so if this condition get false then it will not execute this block this if else block if it is get true then only it will execute this block so this is also called nested if okay now we'll uh, just comment out this all code save it and go back to our browser and refresh it okay this is print successful so this is variable one uh, this is written true and uh, also this is written true that's why it's successful we, how can we use logical and in this case so I'm going to change this uh, code uh, with uh, by using the logical and and make it in one line how we can do is if to print this successful message there is two condition one is this and one is this both have to return true right so <laughs> I write variable one less than variable two I write wi them within a single bracket and there is another condition that is uh, variable two equal to equal to 20 so they both get uh, both have to be true so there is a uh, uh, logical operator we have learned that is and the and operator if I put and and I inside of that if I write document dot write and then success full okay else failed okay so we can uh, convert this nest nested if in a single if else by using the logical and operator okay now just comment on this code save it go back to our browser if I do refresh same successful will get is good right so if I just change it as 30 so what will happen so this condition will return you true right variable 1 is less than variable 2 because variable 1 is 20, uh, 10 and uh, 10 less than 20 so it will return true and this variable 2 is equal to 30 which is not so this condition will give you false so true and false will return false and if this whole condition return false then it will not going to execute the if statement uh, rather it will going to execute the else statement okay let's see just save it go to our browser and refresh and failed oh great so that is the basic if else statement we're going to use them a lot in our program so uh, please let me know if you understand well and if you have any doubt or any question uh, please reach out to me in the comment section and if you like this video please give it a like and see you in the next video thank you bye bye